swinging back into history a few times a year is what these reenactors do. We're the 15th Texas Cavalry Company. But this weekend is anything but routine. Just awesome. I'm in all right here. The 150th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg is bringing out recreators from Florida, Oregon, even Germany. We found a man who flew in from California and originally is from England. As a kid, I remember playing with the blue and gray soldiers. Just give me goosebumps. Seeing a little big round top of the den, it's just absolutely, it's a dream come true. A lot of these guys go all out, actually trying to make it as authentic as possible, going online, getting artifacts from back in the Civil War time period. But for others, it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, they say if you really want to do it, anyone, anyone can be a reenactor. It's not tough at all. I mean, we're always looking for people. All you got to do is come in and tell someone, I want to be a reenactor. Do drills and so forth, just like a little mini boot camp. Uh, uh, so, you know, make sure we understand how to line up, how to fire. The practice is important because in the heat of a fake battle, you can almost go back in time. In your mind, it's real. I mean, you, you get the adrenaline running, and you see the enemy coming, and it's just like it's just like you're in a battle. The Confederates or the Rebs or whatever the enemy is that day come pouring through the smoke, coming at you, screaming, and so forth, and it's pretty scary. It's a quick peek into our country's bloody past on these hollowed grounds. We come out here for a weekend or a week, and then we get to pack up and go home. Those guys fought every day for four years. So I've never got to go home. In Gettysburg. My family was in the Civil War. On the battlefield. This is what it's all about to me. Joel D. Smith, Fox 45 News at 5.